Hey Greeley, we're in the mezzanine level of the Greeley History Museum to talk about the new exhibit that is coming to this space. I've got Holly Berg, um, curator of exhibits for the City of Greeley Museums, and Emma Pena McLeave, who is also a board member of the City of Greeley Museums and a, a, a member of the Mexican American History Project. Uh, they co-curated this exhibit that we're about to talk about. And I'm going to start off with Holly. Holly, can you tell us about the exhibit details and a little bit about what the Bracero program was? Absolutely. So this exhibit is going to open right here in the mezzanine gallery of the Greeley History Museum on May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. And it's going to run through March 11th of next year. So nice long run. You have a lot of time to see it. And it's about the Bracero program. So. These posters come to us from the Smithsonian Traveling Exhibit Service. So those are the basis of the foundation of the exhibit, but we're adding a lot of awesome, awesome content. So the Bracero program, really, really briefly, started in 1942 under the Mexican Farm Labor Program. It was created in response to World War II when so many young men were being drafted into the military, and they were afraid that they wouldn't have enough labor on the farms. So Mexico also declared war on the Axis powers, and one of the ways they decided to support that war effort was to provide temporary laborers for the farms and the railroads here in the US. So over the course of the program, I think it's something like four, over four million men crossed the border on short-term labor contracts to work as agricultural laborers. So this exhibit is all about recognizing their efforts and the trials and tribulations they went through and acknowledging those and celebrating their contributions to the war effort and our local agriculture. And then also recognizing that a lot of the promises that they were guaranteed were broken and work is still going on today to try to fix those. Thank you so much, Holly. I mean, just so much to unpack from that, uh, so much history that's important for us to know. Emma, I wanna throw the next question to you about how this program, how you feel it resonates with the Greeley community. Well, I think the way it impacts and the way it's significant to the community is that it recognized the historical contributions that the Latino community, particularly Mexican Americans, have made to the history of uh, Greeley and the economic history of Greeley also. So I think that is something that's going to be very important for um, us as uh, the Latino community uh, to know that uh, there's emphasis being placed on that. I wish we had 20 minutes to go into more details about this exhibit, um, and that's why you need to come and see it. But real quickly, um, as you guys have been working on curating this exhibit, just a brief sentence of uh, Holly, you first. What was the most poignant or memorable part of this exhibit for you? I think putting it together really struck me how hard they worked for the benefit of our agriculture and just how backbreaking this labor was. And Emma, I'll ask you the same question. Uh, for me, it has been uh, to be able to uh, give something back to the Latino community, Mexican-American community, that we, um, our organization of um, Mexican-American History Pro um, Project is going to be doing is providing history through different institutions in the city of Greeley. And that's so important to document uh, this, this people group's history and to have that here and to learn and to understand um, the past and have that documented. So thank you both so much. This is gonna be such an important um, exhibit to come and learn about this, uh, the history of the Bracero program. It opens May 5th, as Holly said, but also it will be open on May 7th, which is the Cinco, annual Cinco de Mayo celebration in Greeley. It's the 36th annual one. So you can go to Cinco de Mayo Greeley uh, Facebook page to learn about all of the events that are happening that day. But for information about this exhibit and about Greeley museums, um, events and exhibits, be sure to go to GreeleyMuseums.com or the Greeley uh, Museum Facebook page.